Hey everyone, Techni here with a review of the worst drop of the year and probably my worst purchase of the year. That is the HyperX and Ducky 1 2 Mini. So, number one, why was the worst drop? And I'm sure a lot of you know about this already. The HyperX or Kingston website crashed right there. And it's kind of crazy. You talk about HyperX and Kingston being, you know, they make computer parts, components, peripherals, and everything. You wouldn't really expect their website to crash, you know? They're kind of prepared for this, right? They're hyping it up for months. And then, you know, what do they expect? 100 people to jump on that was kind of ridiculous how it crashed then it sold out and you couldn't even get on to get it you know so really ridiculous right there but we've seen many drops like this before the logitech g pro wireless ghost was an absolute mess as well so we see it all the time with online drops one other thing i want to chime on right here and you all could think i'm talking out of my rear or anything right the one thing that upsets me about a lot of these limited drops a numbered keyboard or Going back to the G Pro Wireless Ghost, why do they send these to content creators, streamers, or YouTubers, or whatever? And again, say I'm talking out of my rear, right? Because if they would have sent me one of these, would have I taken it? Heck yes, I would have. And I think they need to stop that because you don't need to send this to some YouTuber with 100,000 or a million subscribers to advertise it. We all knew about it and we all wanted it. You know what I mean? So again, I feel like you're sending out 100 units here that you could have sold and some, you know, customer that's been wanting it could have had it. You don't need to advertise a limited drop just stop it but anyways enough of my ranting right there again just really upset me but let's talk about how i got this which is pretty embarrassing right i did pay top dollar on ebay i paid 200 for this keyboard right and it, i'm right there with you right like why would i pay 200 bucks for a ducky one too many heck go to mechanical keyboards you get one for 100 bucks pretty much the exact same board and even inside your box is quite similar you get your replacement keycaps now there is a hyper x one in here which is just basic abs so that's pretty much the same. You get a year of the rat space bar, the ABS ones that you get with all the other duckies. You get your USB-C cable, your ducky keycap puller, your manual, which is by the way, a ducky manual, and then your dust cover. So it's all pretty much the exact same. Where it differs is when you get into the keyboard. Number one, it'd be in black and red, which is all just cosmetic, but you all know the technique. I love black and red. You make something black and red and I'm gonna buy it. And honestly, as far as the aesthetics, it looks absolutely awesome. Is it for everybody no not everybody likes black and red you know we know a lot of us are into these bright neon or pastel colors you know me personally i love a good classic black and red and this does it it looks absolutely gorgeous the black feet on the bottom right there the metal plate right down there is numbered and my number is actually 389 if i can see right i haven't peeled off the plastic yet but anyways so again i don't have a rare number or anything but as far as aesthetics it just looks awesome and fits my setup absolutely perfect but the number one thing that really excited me about this keyboard well i mean the black and red truly did excite me but the number one thing is the HyperX red switches i absolutely love these switches i don't know if you ever used them heck you can walk into a best buy and sample out the alloy origins which i reviewed before which is the exact same keys as well but one thing i love about the duck if you watched any of my other reviews is the sound of it it's just solid and crisp and that combined with these HyperX uh, switches is just an absolutely fantastic experience. I would compare these switches to a little bit smoother of a Gator on a red. That's exactly what I compare these to. And let me tell you what, they are a pleasure to game on and type on. But all in all, it is a great keyboard, right? You got the PBT keycaps, you got the aesthetics, you got the HyperX switches. It's just an all around awesome board right here. But if any of you just watched any of my other one too many keyboard reviews, you all hear me say, I love them, but I also don't think they're worth the money, right? Because again, the frame is flexy. They just feel like they're built a little bit cheaper. They're solid, but again, you just got a lot of flex around them, you know? So 
that puts me right back to here at 200 bucks. Heck no do I think it's worth it, not at all. And if this thing was marketed at 200 bucks, I'd say do not buy it at all, you know what I mean? But again, with I was just excited about it. I really like the aesthetics, the switches, I can go on and on, you know what I mean? But I would tell you all day long, just buy a regular one too many, you know? Which still, I think they're overpriced for what they are. They are fantastic and nice keyboards, but a little bit expensive for what they are. But hey, I just really wanted to share my experience with you right here. Again, kind of embarrassing with how much I spent for it and everything, but it really excited me. Um, let me know down in the comments if you would have paid that much money for something, not necessarily this one, because again, black and red's not gonna be for everyone, but if you had this board that really just sparked your interest with these switches and then that color wave that you really like, what is the limit you would spend for that right there. Again, don't get me wrong, I'm with you guys. This was a ridiculous price tag, but I'm really curious, how much would you spend for that keyboard that met the needs that you really wanted? But hey, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this showcase or walkthrough of my experience. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if not, heck, maybe you can have a good chuckle at my expense with this process right here. But hey, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope I catch you next one. Bye now.